What's good, y'all boys? I'm on the way to Orlando right now, and I'm going to tell you this was the worst event slash trip I've ever been on, and we're going to get into the steps that led to this being the worst event, bro. If you're from Orlando, this is nothing against you. This is just my experience, bro. So let's just get right into this right now. Yes, sir. Tell me why I booked the hotel that looked like the sweet life of Zach and Cody. I end up pulling up and the sink is leaking, bro. I try and wash my face after a four hour drive. The sink is leaking, bro. Like I'm talking about I turn it on for three minutes. I turn around and turn back and it's a flood. Like what the fuck? So then I'm like, let me just hop in the shower, young boy. I hop in a shower. How how the hell I'm trying to take a shower and the drain won't stay up, bro. Like I'm trying to pull this drink up and keep dropping. So there's a flood in a bathtub too, bro. Then after all of that, I end up taking a shower, washing my face. I go back out to the room. I try and turn on the TV. The TV won't even turn on, bro. I had to call a maintenance man to come up to the to my room and fix the TV. Bro didn't even know what was going on with the TV. After realizing the faucet not working, I looked up. Then I see all this shit on the mirror, bro. Like, I can't even look at... Come on, bro. Like, I paid for the hotel. I can't even look at my face, my nigga. Like, bro. I don't know how this... How they got rated five stars, first of all. I don't, they probably hacked Google or some shit. It went from Sweet Life of Zach and Cody straight to, like, the crack hotel, my nigga. Like, what is going on? On top of that, I had the bathroom door locked. Right after this video, my dog opened the door and walked straight in. That's all we bring in? Mm-hmm. All right, so we fill up the wagon with, like, half of the shoes we brought, and we start walking over to the event. Tell me how it's people outside trying to scam resellers before they get in, bro. Like, they have that little board, that little board with the bottle caps on top of it. And you choose which bottle cap has the ball underneath or some shit like that, bro. But I'm from down south. We already know how this goes. You can't win. First of all, they have counterfeit money, bro. It's fake money. So even if you win, you take it. All right. Then you go back to your car. They buck your ass. They're going to wait outside till after the event and they're going to steal your money young boy so don't even try and play this shit what's good what up what's this how much is it for the hey come on man bro you need what? it bro you need it bro you need it bro you need it You ever had that feeling right after you paid for some shit? You already know you took an L. That was that feeling I got. Like I walked in this bitch. I looked to the left and looked to the right and saw everything. Like I saw the whole event, my nigga. Like, come on now. The holy waters and the yeah. Bro, how much did you pay for these? Retail on both. Huh? How much you asking on two? Two hundred. Yeah. You got box? Yeah. Okay. Once again, I got nothing towards any of y'all in Orlando, but I will not pay two hundred for these used, bro. I got these before for five dollars, like five a five dollar bill, bro. Five, I gave the man a five dollar bill and I got these in my hands, bro. And I gave him another ten and I got a pair of cool gray fives, whatever they call, it, bro. Like I'm not paying two hundred for these, bro. You did like these are for retail. Yeah, both. How? I just hit, bro. I got up in the morning, put all in right, my bro, car. Alright, work. Alright, we gotta work a deal. Look at my hat. Look at your hat. We, we gotta work a deal. What's on these? Yeah. You want them? One ninety. Oh, I 
I just realized my friend offered 190 on shoes that go for over two bands, bro. What the fuck? I just realized that shit. What the fuck? Shit, I'm gonna offer you, bro. Uh huh. Let me hear it. You think you're 130? Lowest I take is like 180. You said 180? Low. That's low. And that's low for me. If you don't know, this is the guy I bought some off-white ones from. Bro hooked me up for the low for some off-white ones, and I flipped them for, like, a band in the same event. Shout out to whoever this was. Bro looked like he was stressed as fuck. Like, this man had, like, 80,000 shoes at his table and behind his table. Like, 20 people asking him questions. Somehow, he just pulled out a computer from under his desk. And was looking up all the like all the the market on every shoe for like twenty people, bro. I was just like, damn, this man like half my age, and he doing all this shit, bro. Like I know he's stressed. Like I would never want to bring eighty thousand shoes to an event, bro, just because it's just gonna be too much, too much low ballers and shit at the same time. You feel me? I'm gonna be wasting my time on too much shoes. Like yo, I can I can't put myself through that much stress, bro. Like, bro, look at it. Look at him looking at a computer. That boy, like, fuck. This shoe goes here, two thousand. Fuck. That boy asked somebody, how much? How much does this shoe go for, bro? Like, how much should I sell this for? Fuck. This is too much. Fuck. Then he looked back at his computer. He like, damn. Like, bro, is this nigga even gonna buy this shit? Is it worth it? Fuck. Then he just picked something else up. Like, damn. What the fuck? Who? Who want this shoe? Fuck. Let me just look at market on this just in case they ask me. Oh, what's good, bro? How you doing, bro? Good, man. Shit. Yeah. I just came to Orlando for one, bro. I know, man. What the fuck you want me here for, bro? What's up, man? What's up, man? What you doing? You the low ball, motherfucker, out here? Nah, bro. We just came, bro, because we're going to the one tomorrow, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they invited me up here for this one. Oh, yeah. You going to the one tomorrow? No, I, I gotta go fish my back. Oh, I'm just here to just chill for one night, have a good time, and then go back home, man. Good, man. I see you doing your thing, man. Yeah, yeah. What did you buy so far? Uh, I just got some dunks. Why? Like, yeah, nah, nah. Keep them away. Keep them away. Yeah, uh, nah, nah, nah. I didn't even. I didn't even go. Touch the mic. Touch the mic. That's pretty much it for this event. The rest was just people pulling up on me and trying to lowball me more than I lowballed people. So it was just crazy, bro. Honestly. Orlando, bruh, you will not see me again. Like, this is me being for real. But the next day after this event, I did end up going to another event and selling everything in my possession except for those easy boots. I still have those on me right now. But you feel me? I did end up selling everything the next day. That was probably one of the best events I've gone to in a while. The one after this one, not this one. Let me just say that again, not this event. But I really wanted to drop this video just because I thought it was funny, bro. Just what I went through that first day. It was crazy. Like, I literally paid $20 just to walk around this event. But I did end up meeting Roscoe, you feel me? I fought with that boy. He he made me get on his podcast, I think. That's what it's called. I don't really, I'm not really into YouTube that much, but I think it's a podcast. He, he ended up inviting me on to that, you feel me? So that's how I know Roscoe cool dude but yeah that's the really the the highlight of this event was meeting roscoe and fucking walking around my nigga like seeing people getting finessed off of that board game and shit you feel me but make sure your boys like comment and subscribe and also follow your boy at trash aladdin and aladdin underscore resales and my band and dsdid also me on tiktok at dsdid D. Yes, sir. And make sure you do this last thing. Always remember to do this last thing. Watch those ads. Watch those ads.